You know what's one thing that Splatoon 2 and Smash Brothers have in common? In some way, they are my, you know, they're my two favorite games on the Switch, you know? I've been playing Splatoon 2 for like 2000, more than 2,500 hours, you know? And then, you know, Smash Brothers, you know, they, I have the love diverse for that game. And then you just, you just have all those one or two moments where you're just like, dang! I actually really hate this game. Splatoon 2, I can just see that occasionally through playing Rank X. Then you go on to Smash Bros. Ultimate. You have some degenerate players out there, not only that, don't forget, you have some really intoxicating Smash Bros. Ultimate players out there as well. So in a way, I, I'm left nowhere to run. And you know what all I can say to that is? Well, it could just be the fact that, you know, now there's an online feature. No one or everyone can literally go online, do something so stupid, so toxic, or so brain dead idiotic, and have no repercussions for it. Isn't that wonderful? <sighs> Admittedly though, I don't see any way, shape, or form they're gonna fix that. As much as I hate saying it. So here I am for now, literally just got done playing Smash Bros. Ultimate cause oh my god, sometimes I just hate Smash Bros. Ultimate sometimes. Cause you just have those one, it's, it's not that the game is bad, it's just that online is bad. Online's always bad, my, I just realized, oh no wait, never mind. Online's just bad and it's always been bad and that's what really irritates me admittedly. And I don't think we're ever, and I mean ever, gonna find those like perfect, Perfect online. <coughs> All right, let's just uh, ignore what just happened as I uh, had a small tickle in my throat. Okay, here we go. Actually, I'm gonna put my uh, webcam like at the top. Right. I might put it at the top left, probably. If there's nothing up there, if I can remember. Oh yeah, there's nothing up there. I'm gonna actually just do that real fast. Okay, here we go. Clam Blitz, which I, I don't want to be that guy. This is actually my favorite mode. Don't worry, Clam Blitz is still my favorite mode. It's just the splatter scope just happened to remind me how uh, annoying you can get sometimes. One thing I really love, would love to speak about Clam Blitz, I, uh, there was this one live stream, and like, oh my gosh, the amount of people that did not like Clam Blitz was actually surprising. And when I say surprising, I mean there's this one guy, I don't want to mention his name because, you know, that's just be calling out people for no reason, even though I do have a reason to call out some people, but gosh dang, he was not a nice person when he gets angry. And I'm not saying that because, you know, oh, well, you know, he got angry, so it's fine. I'm just saying this. If you get angry at times, just don't get angry. Don't express your anger around people because you just look like a bad person when you do it. I mean, maybe you don't, and maybe it's just me, but I think you... First of all, teammates, why wasn't that charger taken out much sooner? Because look at that basket. Look at that little super clan that's just up there now. So it's been, what is it, like a month since I actually got my calculated points in rank X? And all types of stuff. <laughs> and I'm now being reminded how hard rank X actually is. I think I remember one time I actually did like come back to this game like a month later and my points were actually like 2169 or something like that. It was bad. It was really bad in it. This map really loves okay. Wow. Of my time trying to shoo her, she killed me. Well, I can assure you one thing, we're probably gonna lose this match. Because first of all, I'm doing horrible, number one. Number two, <laughs> look at the lead they got. Number three, I died again. Oh my gosh. Every time I respawn, I'm dead. This is what happens when you come back to the And here's the worst part. This is, I didn't like warm up to this or anything. This is just my first game into coming back here after the live stream for last week. Because I know that Clam Blitz is gonna, what in the, oh. We are absolutely losing. Can I at least kill someone? Just one person? Anyone? Instead of dying? Well, boys, it's nice knowing you. But, uh, I don't see a victory to this path right at the moment. I almost died to that. Because I tried scooting. I tried booching away from it. As fast as possible. I'm gonna just throw a booyah bomb up there. I don't know why that took so long to get a booyah bomb. Sure thing, buddy. Okay, can you? How in the world? Why did the fall damage hit me? Maybe I should try a different weapon. I don't know. I mean, I kind of really want to go with this weapon because it's my main. Even though a lot of people are now just like, hey, 
you play Cancel Splash Out Pro main power, guess what? It's not that you're a good person, it's that you're a brain dead person apparently. Which I mean, I don't know how we've gotten to a point of where we just had this main power up thing. And then all of a sudden, you're not like this really cool person who knows how to aim. You're just a brain dead person apparently, which I'm not gonna lie. It kind of gives you that small like, dang, I just feel so ashamed for playing with this weapon. Even though there's... You know, those other people that also play with this weapon as well. But you just feel ashamed for playing with a weapon. And my problem is, I don't play this one because it's broken. I play this one because I like it. And now, if I told people, hey, I play this one because I like it, no one would believe me. Because nowadays, Kenza Splattershot Pro with main power is literally an insanely strong weapon. Oh, okay, that's fine. Hey, give me that. At least I did something for the team, am I right? Actually, we might win this. Maybe. We get really lucky. Or not. We, we don't have to get lucky. I could just try to dodge that suction bomb and just die for it. From the Firefin Swat Charger, because, you know... <sighs> Firefins, uh, they, um... They get their little suction bombs every once in a while. And I just die to the every once in a while suction bomb. Yay, go me. <sighs> I got eight. Splats. How many times did I die? Let's find out. 12 times! I died 12 times! And the one on the op- and there's only one guy on the opposite team that died 11 times. I died the most of the whole lobby. God! Oh. Well, I can assure you, I'm hoping that that was the worst match of the whole video. Because if that somehow wasn't- I'm not making videos like these anymore. I'll just say that, where I return to ranked battles after like a whole month. Or even, no, longer than a whole month, I think. I was like, what was it? Um, I don't think I did any, no, wait, wait, maybe I did do some ranked battles in uh, January, but I can't remember. We had a top 500 on our team and we lost. Oh, oh my gosh. That's gonna detriment my points way too hard. It's like, imagine like going to work and you know, you earn like what, like maybe like, let's just say you're just like one of those dumb jobs where you're getting like nine dollars an hour for whatever reason, even though minimum's like, I think 11 or a little bit more. So just imagine that, right? You do something messy, then out of nowhere, you lose half of the amount of money you earned. Like, let's just say you were working there for like a year, right? And you earned like maybe like a couple thousand. Maybe like, uh, I'm gonna make a random number, like, uh, like 5,000 maybe in that year. You make this one dumb thing and it was on accident. You weren't even warned what this dumb thing actually is. But you made it. That's what matters. And because of that, you lost your $2,500 that you earned. That's what this game just feels like. You make, you just lose one match and you lose all of your progress. All your one hour progress. And if you, you know one of my friends, the Inkling Gamer, Bro, he complains about that 24-7 on Twitter, and I don't know why. Because it is dumb, admittedly. It really is dumb. You could literally, like, win some hardcore match. And it was because, you know, you carried your team, you led them to victory. Wow, amazing for you. Meanwhile, you could lose this one match because you didn't carry the team the way you wanted to carry them. So for that, and it, like your team was all like, you know, dumb, and they weren't even great and stuff, you know? And But it doesn't matter. You lost like 40 points for it. And 40 points, losing 40 points in this game is a lot. Because we're talking about the same mode that gives you like, like, 8 to like 15 on average. And like 15 usually being the most, you know? I just missed a clam. I just noticed that. We could have had that extra small lead, but no, I missed a clam. I missed a bloody clam. There's someone on the side of us. I'm not okay with that. There's someone like right over there. Somewhere. Just somewhere. I'm not sure where she is because I don't got point sensors on me. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna switch to regular Splash Shop Pro probably if we lose this. If we lose this, like, anyway, capacity. I'm switching to Kensa Splash Shop Pro. Or not Kensa, but regular because that one has point sensor. Admittedly, Point sensor and solo rank is really good. Cause then you'll know where everyone's positions are. Cause uh, you can't communicate with your teammates and there's a reason for that. Cause if you could, you wouldn't even be communicating. You would just hear something like Oh yeah, also guys, by the time you're watching this, 
it's probably like I don't know I'm gonna assume it's like somewhere in the late March but I'm recording this video like March 5th and I don't know when it is for you guys you're seeing this but it is a while I'll, I can tell you that we almost won that until I died but we won that anyway <laughs> okay that's fine I think that's two matches in of I actually would like to get all 10 done by uh, the time I'm doing this. I might also split this up into like two different parts. Or maybe I'll like f find out how to like edit this to be like, you know, really short. But knowing me, I'll probably like edit it to where it's like 10 minutes shorter at the very most. And this video is like probably like 40 to 50 minutes or something. More than likely 50 minutes. Maybe even close to an hour. For all I know. Deku! Deku! I'm not gonna lie, I've been actually watching a lot more My Hero recently. I watched that, uh, the second My Hero movie. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I'm not gonna lie. Like, to be completely honest, like, I would want to see the movie again. I don't know how to explain why. The finale part. I know the finale of it was kind of like, what the heck? They, like, did this and did that with, like, no logic behind it whatsoever. Yeah, admittedly, but it's an anime. So, stuff like that always happens. Like, you have Goku. Like, uh, what was it, Dragon Ball Super? When Jiren's like, oh, I'm so strong, I'm gonna push back your spirit bomb. AKA, a weapon or a move that no one else has ever pushed back, except for maybe Kid Buu, but he still died to it. Wait, but Jiren, Jiren is all like, move spirit bomb, and the spirit bomb moves, and then Goku gets hit by it. Whoa, he didn't die to his own spirit bomb, and said he got a whole new transformation. Whole new transformation. And just like that, that's when he ended up beating Jiren in the very end. Somehow. And then, in my hero, I'm not surprised they pulled off something like that. But, oh my gosh. The fact that they did it off so beautifully. How can I even complain? How could I even complain? It was good. Oh boy. I can't wait to see who disconnects from this lobby because, uh... Okay, good. We just had a small hiccup. May I remind you, we're paying $20 a year to do this. May I remind you that? We're paying $20 a year to have this great experience of people still disconnecting to this very day. And because of this, our teammate knows what's up. Oh, we lost a teammate? What's the worth of playing a game when we're gonna lose? We lost a teammate. That literally means everything. And unfortunately it does. It literally means everything. You lose that one teammate up there. Boom, the whole game. The whole game is ruined. Especially if your teammate just knows. He just gives up. Just... Nintendo, why you have him to add in main power? Like, come on. A few moments later. Nintendo? I don't know what your net coding is doing. I don't know about you, man. This is X rank. Okay. And I know, my internet is actually kind of good. Like, not amazing, but it's kind of good. And when I say good, I mean like on a level to where getting disconnections is only because other people got disconnected. But that's the problem. Why can't I have a, why is it that I have a good internet and I can still disconnect? Why? You know, Nintendo, you don't, you, you know, you wouldn't have to, you know, fix this if, uh, you know, you just didn't have to make us pay for this, you know? But then you decided, oh, you know what? Let's pull off a Sony and Microsoft. Let's make you pay for all this. Let's make you do the exact same thing you were doing in the very beginning of Splatoon 2, but this time you have to pay for it. This time you have to pay for 90% of the game. Why? Why? Why do we have to pay for the exact same thing we were doing before? To have the... Why do you have to make us pay for this and not fix it? What is your problem? And the worst part is, no matter how often I want to rant about this, I know they won't fix this. No matter how much I complain, no matter how much I spread the word, they will not fix this. 
Because I know hundreds, thousands, if not maybe the entire people who play this game complain about it. What does Nintendo do? Oh, let's nerf a bunch of weapons that probably didn't need nerfing, but let's not nerf the ball point, and let's not fix the net coating, because we clearly showed off that we don't know how to fix that. Even though you could just make a big 180 move, oh, let's, you know, remove the fact that you have to pay to play this game. Can you just do that? Is that too much to ask for? You make it seem like it really is. I'm gonna show you that. I'm out of dodge. I am severely out of dodge. I can't believe my teammate got in the way and I died for it. This is the one remaining. Let's jump to her really fast because, you know, I got quick super jump and all types of stuff. Let's get rid of this bamboozler because bamboozler main power up is apparently somehow less threatening than a Ken Splash Pro for whatever reason. I mean, yeah, sure, maybe they don't paint as often, but gosh dang, can they really spice things up with that 99 damage? Is there like someone above us? All right, how am I going to do this? Oh! 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 No! Okay, fine. I'll, I'll kill three of you and uh, get nothing done for that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for being so sarcastic. Like, admittedly, it, I really hate being sarcastic. But gosh dang. I swear to gosh. No matter how how much anger I want to express. Like, I don't want to express so much anger to the point that all you hear is me screaming my... Like, my lungs out because I've done that a few times those are in my opinion one of the worst videos and yet they're somehow the most popular videos some of the more I really I'm not gonna lie the videos I've done about me just raging I really hate those videos admittedly like I've already like I've said in my 1v1 video if I made it if I make a video and I'm like angry or I'm upset over something it's not a good video just straight up like unless it's over something that's meant to be difficult then okay like the agent 3 fight okay that's understandable Something like this, sometimes it could be really dishonest, and it could just be... Mm, sometimes I have... Sometimes it just doesn't have a reason. Like, look at... What is going on? Like, what is going on? What is going on? Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna blame it on... I'm gonna blame part of it on Splatoon 2. I'm gonna blame all this on Smash Brothers. Because you know why? Smash Bros. is the same game that refuses to fix Little Mac, refuses to fix Zelda, refuses to fix Dark Samus and Samus, refuses to fix the characters that no one likes, except for the characters... the people that main them. And I'm sorry for you, Zelda, uh, Samus, what is it, Little Mac, and Link, Young Link, Ganondorf, Bowser, Richter, Simon, and Banjo Mains, but gosh, dang, your characters are so hot garbage, so bad, so annoying, so dishonest, especially online. Oh my gosh, that's a whole nother story. Online is a whole nother story. I mean, when you have online so bad, that even, like, Mr. Zero himself makes a whole dedicated tier list to online warriors, you know there's a problem. Like, there is a guaranteed problem if there's a whole separate tier list where Little Mac is from literally the worst character in Smash Bros. to the best, one of the best characters online. And hey, you know what's the only bad thing Splatoon has about online? Maybe your teammates might disconnect every once in a while. I mean, yeah, that sucks. But at least you're not developing this whole new Wi-Fi meta where all of a sudden, all the, like, imagine, imagine a Wi-Fi meta where the GooTuber was the best weapon. Imagine that. You know how bad this game would have been? I mean, this game's already bad enough for the fact that we have, you know, number one, teammates disconnecting. Number two, very biased teams. And number three, main power-up. Like, I really, like, the only reason why I would like it is because it's, you know, usable for the Kansas Spire Shop Pro. And again, I like that weapon the most because I actually... Enjoyed playing that weapon throughout my entire spa spa span of Splatoon 2, but now I have to live with the fact that no one likes the, spl the Splatshot Pro because you use main power for it. And if you use main power for it, then you're just a brain dead warrior. I really hate online. I really hate online. This is probably why I grew up to play a bunch of games that had no online features. And in Smash Bros. 4, I never used online. It's Splatoon 1. Okay, other than the frame rate drops, is it me or does Splatoon 1 actually have better online? Like, okay, it's okay, yeah. We got hackers in Splatoon 1. I'm talking about the online in general. Do you ever, you know, encounter some weird problems and the only reason why it sucks is because it's the online? I mean, okay, yeah. They have, like, its own issues. Literally, if, Spl if Splatoon 2 had the amazing online experience that Splatoon 1 has and 
Well, I mean, I don't know if it was that amazing or if I'm just overrating it, but I think it, maybe it's possible that I am overrating it, but like, imagine Splatoon 1, but all that BS that you get from the game doesn't exist. Like, imagine it had Splatoon 2 weapons balance, but it had a great Splatoon 1 fun Wi-Fi thing. Like, imagine that. Like, okay, again, I don't know if I'm overrating Splatoon 1. Maybe I am, but hey. At least I felt like I was actually playing the game, even though I had some decently bad Wi-Fi back then. Except for that one time where I couldn't even play the game at all. That was a, that was a, that was a, that was a phase. Okay, legit, I'm gonna do everything I can to shut up, so that way I can, like, make it easier on my editor self. Because I feel like I'm talking about a bunch of things that none of you guys care about, none of you guys want to hear about. All you want to do is just see me do some weird funky edits, however I can, which I don't know if I even can. Because tune is getting a little dry on me. Or... Maybe that's my problem. Maybe that's why I'm not having fun editing videos anymore. I don't know how to make them funny anymore. Because I've been overusing some of the things so much in my older videos that it's like, how do you make them funny? How do you genuinely make them funny? I'm gonna die. She's alive. Why is she alive? Thank you. Oh my gosh, I've said this so many times, so I'm gonna keep repeating it until Nintendo hears this, and they're just like, yo, let's actually do this. I mean, when I said, hey, hey, you know what they should do? If they ever return to the Splash Shop Pro, they should give it Splat Bomb Booyah Bomb, and then what do they do? They give it Splat Bomb Booyah Bomb. But I'm thinking like, hey, you know what they should do in Splatoon 3? What if they have this private battle mode? Like, it, like they should do this in private battle mode, because if they do this like a, like a, you know, online feature thing, I think it would be broken, and it would be fun. What if they do this thing? Where you can have like your own custom set for your weapons. Like imagine you go to a, you know, there's like this private battle mode. And you can have your own custom set with your main weapon. Like like imagine you got this Splatter Shot Pro with the Fizzy Bomb and um, Ink Jet. Or you can have, you know, the Luna Blaster with, um, what is it, Burst Bomb and like, what is it, Ink Jet. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to think of something cool. Or what if you have the E-Leader with Ink Mine and, or, uh, and Stingray. Or what if you have an E-Leader with Burst Bomb. Ooh, that sounds kind of hot. There's just so many things you can come up with, but that just doesn't exist. And you're kind of just stuck with, you know, the whole set. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, of course. But, you know, if you want to step up your game, you're going to have to come up with some new ideas. And Splatoon 2 did that two years after its release. Or at least a year, I think. Technically a year after its release. They, like, start doing something like, grand. And then meanwhile in Splatoon... Well, I mean, okay. Yeah. Splatoon 2... They didn't have anything amazingly special going on until like a whole year after its release. I mean, of course, you know, the biggest things were like the special weapons. They were different. But other than that, nothing so grand, you know?